What's up, everybody? Poker Chaos here for week one of season three of the MLPB. Today, we're finally going to get into our MLPB, and we're starting with Steam Siege. We have a three pack blister here with the Azelf promo. Promo and the coin don't really mean anything. What we care about is what is in those packs. Standard pack battle rules. Uh, or I should say not standard pack battle rules, but standard pack pa standard pack battle points apply along with the competitive pick points, which if you didn't see my uh, points and rules video, I will leave them down in the description below. And our competitive pick for this week is going to be Ponyard. It's only a common, uh, but I think for week one, we're going to play it safe. We are an away team this week, so we do only get one competitive pick. The home teams get two, and we're going to start breaking into this, and hopefully we get some Ponyards. Hopefully we get, you know, something good. I've watched a couple people's videos so far. Spoiler alert. My video goes up, well, as you're watching it, my video is already up of course but my video is up on the fourth on Sunday whereas the first couple videos have gone up on the first of course being that there's 32 different people in the league having 32 videos go up on the same day would be kind of dumb so I've watched a couple people's videos and it's been pretty good so far we got that Rayquaza coin again doesn't really mean anything and we also got the Azelf promo that unless you bought the pin blister, um, everybody got at least Azel for Rayquaza or a pin. And we have our three packs and my Mega Salamence playing card just fell. But we got our three packs here. Uh, we got Mega Gardevoir, we got Eveltal Break, and Xerneas Break. We're going to start things off with the Mega Gardevoir. We're going to try to keep the packs in camera and we're hoping for Ponyard, EX, Break, whatever it is. And I'm going to try to do this where I'm not like spoiling myself of the code card, but also to where I'm not like showing the code card off in the video. I think I did that right. So first pack we have a Litwick, Hopip, Dano, Litleo, Nosepass, Ambipom, Tangrowth, Halucha, Reverse Common, Meryl, and Adredagon. So, literally no points in that first pack. No Ponyards, no Reverse Rare, no... Um, no Hollow or Better, which is kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing. So, well, we'll see what happens here. I'm trying to, like, not show the code, but also not spoil it for myself. I'm like just not looking when I pull the coat away, so. We have a Ponyta, Ponyard, so there's one point. So we're not going zero points. We have Oshawott, Rufflet, Tangela, Azumarill, Fletchinder, Skiploom, Reverse, Rare Yon Mega, so there's another point right there. And a Bisharp, so four points in one pack. We got Ponyard for one, being our common competitive pick. A reverse rare being one, being Yon Mega, which is actually a pretty good competitive card. And then Bisharp, which is a hollow, which is worth two points. So, we have our last pack here. Maybe we can get that secret rare. Maybe. Probably not. Uh, let's, let's not spoil the code. And... We'll get to our last pack. I think I spoiled the code for myself, but hopefully not. We got CDOT, Clauncher, Bergmite, Yanma, Mareep, so no more Ponyards, Lampent, Captivating Pokepuff, Azumarill, Reverse Uncommon Halucha, and a Volcarona. So no points in the first or last pack, but we did get four points right there. And four points could be enough to win us week one possibly not I also did not mention 
uh, that we this week we are up against the Seattle Smeargles. I don't know why I didn't mention that. My bad, I'll mention that in the next week's video because I can't re-record. Re uh, but we are up against the Seattle Smeargles, Sketchy Smeargle, and good luck to you. Hopefully you get some good points and your competitive picks are good. I will link his channel and video down in the description below, and I will see you guys next week. Until then, bye!